Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, our last video, we did a product review and we had a ton of fun. So we thought we'd do something kind of similar and we're gonna be doing like a food review. So, um, a lot of other channels do food reviews, but we're going to be specifically focusing in on foods that would be good for RV living. So, um, canned foods, for instance, is a, is a very good um, kind of food that uh, lasts a long time and can be stored in an RV because, you know, we don't have a huge fridge. It's actually pretty small. So, having canned food is a lifesaver, at least like non-perishable food. Yeah. So, um, what we've got for you today is uh, I kept seeing ads all over my Instagram for a company called the Wild Fish Cannery. I kept going to their to their website and to their Instagram and checking out their products and I kept, it just kept coming up and coming up and I kept putting it off and finally I was like, you know what? I owe it to myself to try this product and I think it'd be a good video for you guys. So I went ahead and bought three cans. Now, I accidentally ate one, but still. we still have two. We are gonna only eat one today because opening two different cans, you'd have to eat it all because once you open it, it perishes really quickly. But we've got the um, the uh, smoked pink salmon as well as the smoked coho salmon. We're gonna do the coho today and we got some rich crackers to go with it and uh, we're gonna let you guys know how it tastes. So before we get started, we are going to um, kind of filter this product like we did our last one through four criteria. Now, so it wouldn't make much sense to do the same criteria for a can of smoked fish as it would for a multi-tool like we did in the last video. So we changed it up a little bit. So our four categories are gonna be taste, longevity, shipping or ease of access, and affordability. So let's get into it. Like I said, we're going with the um, the, uh, the coho first. now. It's, it's the gold like tuna can shaped mm -hmm. and I will say on the bottom here because I'm not going to be able to tip it over in a minute it does say best by 2025 so five year shelf life is fantastic mm -hmm. um, you know I'll have if, if we weren't recording a video and I didn't have to hold on to them for a couple of days I would have eaten them like within a couple of days of them showing up but we like fish we like fish so um, it is six ounces I love the the artwork and everything they put on the the label. They're just very direct and and very like um, almost rustic looking. So uh, you do need a can opener. They don't have a peel top, mm -hmm. which I do believe extends the shelf life. If it doesn't have a peel top, I think the peel top ones are not as rigid and they don't last as long. So mm, we're gonna that. we're gonna open her up. These are like pretty like resilient cans. They're not like the cheap flimsy like you feel like you could crush it can. They're, it's like a it's a good quality. Yeah. Wow so it smells absolutely terrific. Oh. Wow. It yeah. reminds me of visiting the Upper Peninsula of Michigan where they have all that smoked whitefish everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's very... Wow smell that. I know. We like smoked fish. It's very, very, smells very good. And you can see in there, it's a, it's just a beautiful salmon, red. It's not flaked apart like, um, like tuna is. No, it's actual, there's actual chunks. Yeah. I can't tip it too far because it does have like a nice, almost like a broth that it's in that I'm excited to try. But man, this smells fantastic. Fantastic. I love the smell of smoked fish. I was anticipating it looking like like salmon or um, like tuna. I was I was kind of because well I ate the herring okay. and the herring was a little bit like tuna but it was still chunkier it wasn't so like like ground down mm -hmm. so I'm actually gonna get one ready for each of us and we'll try it at the same time. Can we eat the skin on this? Yes you can eat the okay. skin on this. Um, some people may choose not to and that's okay but it is totally safe to eat it won't it the texture might be a little different than the meat, but it won't harm you in any way. So there's one for you. Don't drop it. And I'm going to get one ready for me, and we'll eat them at the same time. Mm. Tink. Yeah, hold on. All right. 
Bon Appetit. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now that is absolutely fantastic. It's got that buttery salmon mouthfeel mm -hmm. with a robust but not overwhelming smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I had to make myself not chew so fast because it was really good and I just wanted to eat it. <laughs> I, I want to keep it in my <laughs> mouth for a long yeah. time. So actually, I'm going to try it without the cracker, just to get the very okay. raw salmon taste. So. Mm. Yeah. Give me some. Mm. Here. Yeah, guys, that is... That might be the best smoked fish I've ever had. Really? Yeah, and I've eaten a lot of smoked fish. I love smoked white fish. I love, you know, I grew up in Michigan. There's a lot of lakes, a lot of people smoking bass, bluegill, sunfish, all sorts of lake fish. Isn't it? It's very, it's, it's, the meat is delicate, mm -hmm. but, but just packed with flavor. It's got that, got an excellent mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. This little, like, little broth at the bottom is very, very good. It's not... You know what? And it's not overly fishy. No. It definitely tastes like fish, but it's not... It's not... It's not a severely, like, overwhelming fish flavor. It only has a very small ingredients list. It has salmon, salt, sugar, spices, natural alderwood smoke. That's it. And you can taste the alderwood in this. It's... Very, very good. Now, this is the coho. Now, this cost me $12, and I know you're, what you're thinking. Wow, that's kind of a lot for canned fish if you think about how cheap tuna is, a, a dollar, a dollar fifty at the most. But it's not even comparable. Just one, one can was $12? This is, one, this is $12. Okay. And um, the, uh, they have cheaper options, like the pink salmon that we have here. This is $10, and the herring that I ate the other day was nine dollars. Um, I just want to like scarf it down. It's so good. Now you may be thinking, well, that's kind of a lot, Rob. That's twelve dollars, you know, for one can of fish. But guys, it's worth it. In my opinion, absolutely worth it. Well, when you get smoked salmon or whatever smoked fish, like at the deli, you know how it comes in like the little packets. Sometimes yeah. that could be. That could be eight, ten, twelve dollars yeah. as well. But um. You know, a lot of times you're not just going to eat this. Well, you might just eat it as a snack. It's, 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 it can certainly be eaten as just a snack. But I feel like a lot of people may use this in, like, cooking, maybe a charcuterie board. That's what I was thinking. Um, you know, even bring it with you camping. I know some people are kind of hesitant on bringing canned goods um, camping because um, once it's open and you, there's no way really to, like, like get rid of it unless you're near a trash can like backpackers especially don't like canned stuff because it's heavy and it's kind of messy and animals can smell it but yeah absolutely guys it's so very delicious i would say five out of five yeah absolutely five yeah. out of five longevity being that it has a five year shelf life again that's five out of five for for such a small package to last five years that's incredible it's incredible five out of five so when it comes to shipping and ease of access, um, I ordered them through their website. Um, I think my total order was around $21 plus maybe around $6 for shipping. Um, and it came from Alaska. So I think it took five to seven days for it to get to me. And uh, cost about six bucks. And so... You have to remember, they're in Alaska. They're a small company. They're not Amazon. They're not shipping hundreds of these out. And you can taste the quality in the small craftsmanship it's, of it. It's harvested, smoked, and hand-packed in Alaska. So as far as shipping goes, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Um, it did take about a week, 
and it costs six bucks. And I guess maybe that's a little skewed because we live in a world where you click something on Amazon and it's on your front porch in two days. Um, and so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I, I, I think giving it a four out of five as far as shipping and ease of access is probably pretty fair. Um, and affordability, I think, again, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Because, yes, it's worth the $12. I would have been more comfortable paying eight, nine dollars. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, at $12, if you buy 10 cans, it's $120 for 10 cans of fish. And and while, and I've already stated it is worth the price, I believe that, it but is. I would be blown away if I could get them for less than $10 a can for, for the coho and maybe even a little bit cheaper for the herring. Um, but uh, that leaves us with a total score of 18 out of 20, which I believe is very fair and very good for this product. Um, I will be ordering more and I do suggest that you guys order more. I will leave a link in the description box below where you can visit this company, Wild Fish Cannery. I believe it's wildfishcannery.com. I do believe that there's cues on the website on how you can save 15%. I did ask them for a promo code, but they say they said they're still a small business. They're not really in the position to be just throwing promo codes out to every YouTuber. So uh, yeah, definitely visit them. I highly recommend the coho. I highly recommend the herring. I've heard excellent things about their caviar as well as their octopus, mm. um, which the octopus was sold out when I went to order out. Otherwise, that's probably what we would be eating. Anyway, guys, again, 18 out of 20. We're very impressed with this product. It's very delicious. I'm trying to get us off camera really quickly so we can scarf it down. I keep like... <laughs> Here, do you want to take <laughs> yes. a couple bites I while I do the outro? <laughs> Okay, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out just a ton. And if you want to see what we're doing when we're not eating smoked fish out of a can, the description box below will have links to our Instagram, our Facebook group, our YouTube, um, and last but not least, our merch page. And we just want to give a huge, huge shout-out to everybody who's helped us and bought some merch and is sporting it and get, they got the stickers and the shirts and the sweatshirts and we and we guys we love you so much thank we you do. so much anyway thank you guys for watching we love you bye, bye.